That's right, everybody's favorite 15 year old TikTok and Instagram star Danny Cohn is pregnant, but for some reason, people are acting surprised about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture or social media and try to see what lessons that we can learn from it. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And speaking of influencers, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul and yeah, Let's talk about Danny Cohn. So last night I was getting ready to go to bed and I did a little quick little Twitter check-in and for some reason Danielle Cohn was trending. So I see that she's trending and I start clicking around and seeing what it is and then it's saying Danny Cohn is pregnant and I'm like, what the heck is going on? So Danny Cohn is an influencer who I've made uh, a couple videos on in the past and discussing, you know, just the social issues around this. And it's not just Danny Cohn being a young woman, you know, on the platform and the way she does things, but just, just children as a whole being in the spotlight and the way we kind of groom youth into wanting this kind of fame and wanting this kind of stardom. I talked about this in my K-pop video that I just made yesterday about kind of the darker side of K-pop. So anyways, Danny Cohn, she's been dating this guy, um, Mike, I think his name is, and yeah, they're, they're pregnant. Now, I will say this, this is a real quick disclaimer. Like, I am still hoping that this is gonna come out and it's gonna be some kind of like prank even though April Fool's was like a little over a week ago. Like I'm hoping that that's the case, but it doesn't seem like it. So anyways, it looks like uh, Danielle Cohn, um, there was pictures of her, like they, they had a gender uh, reveal party. Other people were at that party. They actually did this stream right here where they talked about it as well. So we just came on here to really like explain give about her, her pregnancy. Give her a girl middle name and all so of she that. can go by her middle name. And on we have videos coming out too about Everything. Then on both of their Twitters, they have um, what looks like a, a due date, right, for the baby to be born, which is in August, all right? And yeah, like I'm looking through Twitter and there's quite a reaction about it. And some people have messaged me, you know, about my thoughts and everything. And yeah, like I just wanna talk about the bigger social issues around this. So the first one is obviously like the title of this video and what I mentioned, you know, in the intro is like, people are actually surprised about this. like. Like, how can we be surprised? How can we, there is an over-sexualized 15 year old who has clickbaited the world in, on YouTube and, you know, because of like these kind of sexual things. Like, like I, I think like one of her recent videos was like our first time or something like that. Um, she does videos on YouTube about, you know, her mom going through her DMs and, you know, like her stepdad or dad or uncle, someone like that, like getting involved, you know, and, and looking at these things or like her outfits and everything. And if you go through her Instagram, you know, or even like her TikTok videos, I, I don't have TikTok, so I haven't gone through that, but I've seen clips of it. Like she's a very sexualized teenager. Okay, and obviously like we gotta understand how the human mind works. Like when you get positive reinforcement, you're gonna keep doing that, right? And this is something that we've seen happen. Like when Danny Cohn, a young woman, is promoting her body in a certain way, she gets a lot of followers, she gets a lot of views and all of that, right? And when she makes these, uh, the, this kind of like sexual content with her boyfriend, like it gets promoted. So what's happening as a society is we are normalizing that behavior, we are normalizing it. And like, I don't know about all of you, but like there was a show on MTV, I don't know if it's still on there, but it was called Teen Mom. And basically it documented, you know, teenage mothers. And I don't know what the intention behind MTV's Teen Mom was, I don't know if the motivation was like, look, having a baby at a young age can be really rough, it can be really difficult, but I think it sent out the opposite message, which is like, look, have a baby at a young age, you can be rich and famous, right? And if you followed the stories of like some of those teen moms, like, uh, what is it, Farah, Farah Abraham, like, girls got some issues, you know what I mean? And, and I, I think there was another young woman on there named Amber, like she's struggling with a lot of issues as well. And yeah, teen pregnancy is hard. And like, that's the thing, like now we have Danny Cohn and like, you gotta think about her primary demographic. Who is her primary demographic? Like it's not me. I'm definitely not her primary demographic, but it's young boys and young girls, right? 
So, you know, I have this, this kind of internal conflict of should influencers be role models? Like, I don't think they should, but they are put in that light. Like, this is just part of human nature. And there's plenty of psychological studies out there. I've done plenty of videos on that about this kind of learned behavior and what kids aspire to be and the connections that they make. So there are many kids who idolize Danny Cohn. So when she's 15 years old and getting pregnant, like that justifies other teenagers to have unsafe sex because like, I, I think as a society, we look for influencers to justify behavior that we know is unhealthy. Like, whether you wanna believe that or not, it's the truth. It is the absolute truth. We, we follow problematic YouTubers, we follow problematic influencers, we follow problematic celebrities to try to justify our own behavior because that's just how we are. Like, we have an internal compass, a moral compass, knowing the difference between right and wrong, but it's a lot easier to do bad. Right? It's a lot easier to have unsafe sex as a teenager. It's a lot easier to act a fool, right? It's a lot easier to go with your primal instincts than it is to do healthy things, right? So when we find somebody who is rich and or famous, who is doing things that justifies what we're doing in our life, we can point to that and say, oh, well, they're doing it. They're doing it and they're successful. Even though I don't think a lot of us would vocalize that out loud because we know how silly that sounds, we use that as an internal justification. And this is the concern that we should be having. Now, I also am discussing this topic as a father, right? I'm a father to a 10 year old son. And you know, I'm, <laughs> I haven't yet got to the time where we gotta have like the birds and the bees conversation. Um, at school hasn't introduced him to sex education and things like that. But this is something that I have to be mindful of. Who is he looking at in the influencer world? Who is he um, idolizing, right? Like, is this a, a good or a bad role model? Because a lot of us, we have these screwed up value systems where we, we idolize people for two reasons. Two reasons, money and popularity, right? Money and popularity, these are two things that we look at to say, whether or not somebody is a good person, which is absolutely ridiculous, all right? Like how many people, how many people with fame and fortune are not good people at all? You know what I mean? Like think about that for a second, but this is constantly seen in our society where people base somebody's, like they, they think somebody's morals are, are equivalent to the number they have, whether it's YouTube subscribers, whether it's Instagram followers, whether it's TikTok followers, whatever it is. So there are young children who are looking at Danny Cohn, Cohn as a role model, be, role model because of her popularity and the money she makes. These are not good things to base this off of. And this is one of the reasons why I've talked about celebrity suicide, celebrity depression, all of these other things. Like we have solid proof. We have proof, we have physical evidence that money and fame are not a foundation for happiness, right? If that were the case, no celebrity would ever be depressed. No celebrity would ever uh, commit suicide. Celebrities wouldn't do awful things because their life would be perfect. So something that I try to do with my channel, I try to have you look at these, these situations in pop culture in a different light. Like realize that popularity and money do not equal the great thing. Like I, I hope the best for Danny Cohn. I, I hope the best, but if you look at reality for what it is, a lot of people who get pregnant at that age and have a child, their, their life is a, is a big unnecessary struggle, all right? And this for a lot of reasons. And like, um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that everybody's life is gonna be terrible. Uh, for a lot of people, it just causes them to grow up a lot faster. It causes them to have responsibility. But there are also other issues that come along with it. And like, that could be a whole nother video about, you know, the social issues when it comes to, you know, finding a job, pursuing your career, the other issues that you have. But part of being a parent is also about mentorship, right? Like part of being par a parent is your responsibility to pr pass on your knowledge, your wisdom, the things that you have learned from down to your child. So one of the, one of the concerns with teen pregnancy is you don't have 
that much life experience to pass that knowledge onto a child, right? You are a kid raising a kid. You see what I mean? But if you wanna get down to the science of it, the neurological science of it, young people don't have a fully developed brain yet either. Like the, the prefrontal cortex, what separates us from like wild animals or even domesticated animals like dogs and cats is our prefrontal cortex, which doesn't fully develop until your 20s. Okay, so like, think about that for a second. So the decisions, like, okay, Danny Cohn, she has, a, she has a child, let's say she's 16 years old. I don't know when her birthday is. That child is going to be four or five years old by the time that Danny is even 21, all right? Studies show that the prefrontal cortex doesn't develop until your, your late 20s. So that child will be almost 10 years old and Danny Cohn will still not have a fully developed brain, yet she is parenting another human being. So this is just, these are just things that I want you to think about. But anyways, like the main concern I have is the influence that all of us have. And for all of you watching, I know I don't have a lot of teenagers who watch my videos, but you as adults, like think about that. Think, think about who you idolize and think about the reasons why you idolize them. That's what I'm trying to do with my channel most of the time. It's like just having you think just a little bit harder and saying, why do I idolize this person? Is it based on like certain virtues and characteristics they have or is it based on money and popularity? You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, click the top right there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.